Riker's moved all night and he's kept every single nurse on her toes. I want to know on a scale of one to ten how painful was it? I've never even heard of that. All right, y'all. It is the big day we have been waiting for, and it is almost midnight on Monday the 11th. We are traveling to the hospital to get checked in, get in the room, and start the induction. Lydia's in here getting ready. You ready for this, babe? Can one be ready? <laughs> <laughs> I look so tired. This is gonna be my life for the next 24 hours. It's hard to believe that time has come, right? We're about to finally get the meat and hold Riker. I feel like it's more like a long journey, is what I'm, I'm mentally preparing myself. If I could just hold but him you've been in like waiting 10 for this day hours, for so I'd be long. so happy. Yes. Yes. Y'all, it's We already it look happening. like sleepy parents, babe. It is midnight, babe. We're driving to the hospital. It's 11 something, so. I got four hours last night because I guess you can't sleep anyway in that third trimester. It makes no. me excited for the baby because you're like, I'm already not sleeping. Right. So. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I think I the only thing eat. open is McDonald's. Not great, but. Are we something. sure it's open? Yeah. They're 24 hours, right? I don't know. We'll find so. out. All right, y'all. Off to the hospital. Wait, let's Come along. Mally. Maui's saying, Maui's gonna have my brother come stay and Michael is checking on him. Yeah, he's gonna be well taken care of. <laughs> he's like, what is going on? But we're gonna let Maui sleep while we go have this baby. All righty, let's Bye. do it. I feel like we're going on a road trip. This feels like we're gonna go to like a, I don't know. A road trip, Like baby? an exciting trip. It'll probably feel like a trip. It's very exciting. Alrighty. We're gonna come back home as parents, babe. You're right. We are technically parents, but we get, yes, that's gonna be so exciting. That's crazy. Alright. Let's go get food. Right. So we got some McDonald's. You feeling fuller? I am. <laughs> the only thing that's open is McDonald's, and I wanted to make sure to eat a little bit before so that we have energy for whatever's up. Coming up. So we got some McDonald's, but let's go to the hospital. Here we go. It's so pitch black out there. Look at the man with all the stuff. We're gonna go in through the emergency exit because that's the only thing open at midnight. Yeah, that's promising. <laughs> I think we're going to the right place, babe. And I need to find a bathroom ASAP. All right, babe, it is happening. You're in your nice this gown. This feels like so surreal. <laughs> I feel so official now that I'm in my gown. The nurse says she is going to bet on the farther side of 48 hours. 48? Yeah, she said farther than that. She so thinks... like, she's saying Thursday. All right, what are you predicting? Time and wait. Time? I was going to say Wednesday morning, but this nurse just said 48 hours, so. It might be Wednesday evening. I'll look at Wednesday at 6 p.m. now. <laughs> you ready for all the needles? Nope. No. I'm more nervous about that than all the rest of whatever they're about to do. I don't like needles. So I'm holding Trace's hand. I got you, Maybe we girl. can hear the little Riker's heartbeat. Yes, we can hear his heartbeat. I guess somewhere they have a monitor. Right. It's recording it. That's nice. And we can hear a baby crying in the distance. LPS in like a couple of days. We got this big old room. We do. It's actually really nice. Even and I got my own bed. Yeah. I've never heard of that. I guess I didn't have to bring a sound machine. No. But I can look up and see my reflection of me looking terrified. <laughs> You're gonna do great, babe. I believe in you. We gotta figure out how to make your bed a bed. Oh, I can do that later. Right now, it's just you. getting you settled in. With all the tests. I think yeah. they're doing all the tests. They're gonna see if I'm dilated at all. 
And then... We're going to start stuff in the morning. I'm hoping I can sleep a little bit. Okay. With my sound machine. That will drown out the noises of people. You, you got this. Yeah, All right, babe. Now it's just a waiting game, right? Yeah. I guess we get to sleep for a bit, so that's exciting. All right, give us the update. But, um, they checked and I'm not dilated at all, which is discouraging. <laughs> so basically it's 1 a.m. They just gave me a pill that's supposed to help with that. And then in four hours at 5 a.m., they're going to do it again. And they're going to do that four times, she said. Or they can do that four times. And then do the little balloon thing to start labor. It'll probably be like around like noon tomorrow that they'll actually do the balloon. And then what about, so, like, how long do you think until baby Riker comes out? Hopefully not long because she said I'm not really supposed to be eating. I'm not supposed to, but this is going to be a long one, so I guess I should eat now. <laughs> or I can have popsicles in my little water. Thing. But, yeah, so I think it'll be end of Wednesday before we meet Riker, which is sad. It's, what, Tuesday? Yeah. Feels like Monday evening right now, so it's going to be a long time. Uh, and this yeah. hurts. The needle thing that they, oh, it makes, it probably is triggering to look at, but it's like a constant little sting, so. Uh, hopefully you get some rest, babe. All right, definitely I'm tired, so let's go take a nap. Did you show your bed? Oh, I got my bed all set up. Got Trace's bed. It's like a big old bed. He has got hiccups right now. He's kicking the machine. He does not like the machine. He keeps kicking. All right, y'all. I am going to give you an update of what we know. All right, you made it through the night. It's eight o'clock in the morning now, babe. What, what is happening? Not a lot. We just been laying around trying to sleep. They've given me two pills. The second one, they had to delay a little bit because they said I was having a lot of contractions, but I couldn't feel them, so I no idea so far what contractions feel like so don't worry you'll be able to find out soon so now we have two hours of rest before they're gonna try to get me to move around and see if that will help speed things up we've got your mom coming and josie coming got us breakfast coming and then my mom is coming as well but she has like an hour and a half drive so i'm trying to wait and see if anything changes at 10 so she'll come too um because it'll probably stay up to the birth once they come. And that might be like 24, 48 hours. So <laughs> they said, prepare for a long day, but it could go fast, they said. But Riker's moved all night and he's kept every single nurse on her toes, <laughs> including the last one that just checked his, or his heartbeat. What's that thing called? A stethos stethoscope? I'm not sure. But anyway, she was checking it and he, she checked both sides and the moment she checked on that side he just gave her such a hard kick and <laughs> she was like whoa because <laughs> they were poor ears so it's been a fun couple of hours <laughs> i feel like right now it's just chill so we're trying to rest as much as we can and save our strength all right our, our first person here we got mama here how you doing <laughs> what, what's your predictions you got a time and a oh wait? my goodness okay I'm guessing, I'm guessing five pounds, 14 ounces. Okay. And I'm guessing midnight. All right. What questions do you have for me? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to know what to ask when you haven't experienced it yet. Yeah. Are your parents are coming? Yes. Oh, oh, cool. Cool. It's the first grandchild is big for them. Yeah. This is baby. My mom's right. like 26 to 27. It's just another one. <laughs> and well, no, I mean, that's not true. She's in here. Oh, she's here. She holds every single one of them. So uh, that's oh, a big deal. She did it. She's busy. I know. 19's a bunch. I cannot imagine. Yeah. You know how many kids you have? You have 18 brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It's so all to her. Crazy. She did it one at a time. Wow. Like, how big of a house did you guys have to have? Yeah, it's pretty big. It was small yeah, for a while. It's pretty big. We, we, yeah, it's pretty big. I thought having, I want five kids, I thought that was a lot. Five is, five is a lot. Once you have like one or two, you're like, five is a lot. Yeah. Uh, they always told me, I have four, and they were like, once you start buying the family pack of hamburger meat, you can oh, just yeah, keep having good. kids and it don't accurate. matter at that point. It, that is accurate. So many years, so. Yeah, well, yeah, that's another one. You've already, had, you already have learned how to deal with 
numerous children and yeah. delegate and yeah. all of this. Yeah. And that was a tougher political placement than, than typical, just because of how low his head is. But his head being low is a really good thing. Once we get you dilated a little bit more, that's going to help a lot. So, Light. that was a lot. So they're trying to, what, what is exactly? Fully bulb. Yes. They're trying to get it to four centimeters. But with the baby's head is really low, they said. So they said that made it very difficult. But Lydia took it like a champ. It looked very difficult. I feel like she was squeezing my hand so tight. But she did so good. And we're working for it. did not do great. We did so good. Lydia is amazing. I'm like, I don't know. People have so many. Oh, great progress. So many Lydia is a super, a super woman. That's what she is. We just the nurses just put the fully ball in, so I guess that is trying to get it to four centimeters dilated. Three or four. Three or four. So and then I'll fall out. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. So we're making we're making progress, but that is not an easy thing, especially they said with the baby's head so low. And Lydia took it like a champ. It was very painful for her, I know it was. But she squeezed they her hand off. They have to go his head higher. Yes, they had to go because it's behind it, so it's very difficult. But now we're just a waiting game, so I think we're about to go bounce she's about to get on a, a I mean, bouncing ball and wiggle around the <laughs> ears, side to side. We should find us a good show to watch and just we might need to. pass some time. Yeah. But we're, we're the doctor said Lydia was already a pro and handled it better than most anyone ever has. That is true. I don't know if that's so true. Lydia's she was smiling literally too. smiling. That's because it was like weird. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find your show. Let me get you a TV and try to find your show, okay? I want to know on a scale of one to ten, how painful was it? I've never even heard of that. Oh, it was a. It was how a did 10. you pronounce it? A fully bulb? bulb. You know how I know it was a ten? Cause yeah. she like took both my hands off. <laughs> I've never even heard of Trace, that. you can't even imagine the pain she's in compared to your little hands. Oh, yeah. So now I want to hear Lydia on a scale of one to ten. What, what would you say it was? Well, I didn't feel that pain anymore. Yeah, you did. It was pretty bad. I, I, I feel like I should say the 10 though for when the contractions start back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just, I don't know. Like a nice little eight. I think yeah. that okay. breaking your water and getting one of those placed is worse than contractions. Did they break your water also? No. No, no. okay. So you still have the water I think the bulb can, can it break the water? I guess any of it can. Moving around, they said, will help it. Your best friend is so, going to be letting gravity help you. Yeah, four hours. Well, the problem is he's so little, I wonder if it just doesn't push down a lot because he's light. He's light. That's true, actually. Okay. But he, because he is low, he's just not. You said, and you told her that he was low. Yeah, he's oh, like he's in my hands. So, they yeah, could not believe how sense. low he was. Yeah. That's going to be a great help, though. Once you get further, him being low is going to be amazing. I knew he was low, but now I'm cramping on this side. Look at your little belly. Well, this is your last day with your belly. Really this is your last day with your belly ever. How do you feel? I don't think I'm going to miss it. You will. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe down the road I will, but I feel like... It'll take you about a year, but then you'll miss it. In a year? Yeah. <laughs> <I'll> start missing <laughs> When you get baby fever again. Ah, babe. Putting that makeup on, girl. That's right. Getting you ready for, to meet Riker. You want him to come out. You want him to come out and say, dang, you look good, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's going to go home and he's going to be like, dang, this house is clean. There he is. <laughs> Trace has been making fun of me. All those, all those floorboards like, and dust. boy of yours is going to come in and look at how clean your walls are. <laughs> she scrubbed them good enough. I did. I literally I cleaned out my fridge at 11 last night. Yeah. Oh my I probably should you didn't know. It was relaxing. You're looking good, babe. All right, y'all, here is an update. Lydia's in tremendous pain. It's okay, babe. It's okay. Just the fluid. She's not. Feel, here's some like a ring. No. Does it hitting a hundred? hundred doesn't feel very good. No, it does not. Thank you.
they're going to this go faster. They're going to start the epidural. They're coming into the epidural. Just keep breathing, keep breathing. I got you, I got you, I got you. Keep breathing, babe. I'm so sorry. The epidural's about to kick in, babe. You're doing great. I think that's all I'm gonna throw. That's good. Here, I'll take it and we'll get a new one. Okay. Perfect. As bad as it sounds, sometimes moving helps you be less nauseous. A little. Yep. Or you can sit on the walk. There you go. Just keep a hand there for Trice just in case she's woozy. This is a lot of women in labor like to rock and do this right here. Do you you may or may not. I could never rock, but some women like it. The more some you, women like the ball. The more, the more you, you move, your legs. the more you do this and move and hip movement. But if you're tired, also, mm -hmm. there's no pressure to screw anything up. If you want to rest and cut the lights off, there's nothing wrong with that. This feels a lot better than laying on that bed, though. Okay. All right, good. Okay. Don't look at it, just breathe. So we found the nest and get some more tight. Um, move on to the desk. Yes, I'm getting some stuck somewhere. Do you see it hanging off the side of it? No, I guess Maybe. so. If you don't yeah. care to go to the desk, no, thank you so much. Reach in and get a little piece of ice to suck on. They also will give you popsicles. Usually, if you want a popsicle, sometimes that helps. These are really not that fun. Did you say this is really not that yeah. fun? <laughs> she's so cute. I love her. This is just. She's adorable. That was good. You want more? I kind of do. Yeah. Let's roll this up here so you can reach it. Mm -hmm. If you want, I know this is in a cup of water. If you want, I can dump the water and just fill it with ice cube chips only so you don't have to reach your hand down in that water. Um, and they put the bulb thing in and. Your head really, really lovely, so should they have your past his head? I don't understand how they can fit anything in there, you know, in between. <laughs> 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 they did. They mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> all, all kinds of things yesterday that couldn't come to the skin. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Oh. Oh. y'all so we've made a lot of progress today we got here at midnight and right now it is I'm looking at the clock it is 4 30 in the afternoon Tuesday so we've been here for 12, four, 16 hours so we've been here for a while uh, let's try to walk you through everything so we got here they Gave her some pills. So we did get, we're able to sleep for a little bit. Lydia was able to eat something this morning. 
uh, unfortunately, everything she ate, she threw up. Uh, around 11 or 12, she started getting some more contractions and feeling not the best, so pretty painful. And they put in a balloon thingy to a Foley boob, something like that. I don't know exactly what that is, but it looked very painful. And I was trying to just comfort her, and that's the hardest thing because Lydia is a very strong woman, and she is very, very good at handling pain. But it was just hard just being there because she was in so much pain. And the contraction, she's been doing very well. Uh, we did get up a little bit, and she has thrown up multiple times, so it's nauseous. And it was really bad. And she was like, I want to hold off on the epidural, I want to hold off on the epidural, but then the pain got really, really bad. So we just went ahead about an hour ago and got the epidural. And Lydia's now feeling a lot better. And we're just waiting. It could be six, 12. We don't know how, for hours from now, we don't know exactly. So let's go check on Lydia and see how she's feeling after the epidural. It's a lot different than before, y'all. She's really back there, Lydia. Lydia, how you feeling? Great. Just replying to everyone? <laughs> yes, now that I'm not in pain. Are you feeling any of the contractions? No, but apparently they're really off the charts high. Yeah, she's Let's having see. really, really high ones and she's not really feeling it. I can feel Rekha having his kicking hiccups. And that's about it. But yeah. So nice far. And numb. How so far? How bad? How what how bad was the pain? It was ten out of ten bad. 10 out of 10? Maybe 15 out of 10. 15 out of 10? Yeah. Uh, she is okay. handled it like a trooper. She's a superwoman. It has been, it would look very difficult and I could not imagine. It fast. It was like two, I don't know, back to back. Yeah, they're like no, every month. Yeah, so now we're just waiting. We're blessed to have a lot of people that love us here. So my mom's here and then Lydia's mom is here. And is also funny. Josie's with us, so. We, we are ready, we are ready for this. And then when she gets closer to delivery, it'll just be us in the room. But we're, we're so glad that they can come and support, Lily needs her support group. And this is the very first grandchild in Lydia's family. So this is a, mm -hmm. a, a big deal. And we are so, so blessed that so many people love us and care about us and support us. And we cannot wait to meet baby Riker. We're just praying uh, for a safe delivery and just thanking God for everything he's done up to this point. Can't wait for the future. Just in a little bit, yeah, you're gonna get the whole record. In the next six hours. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> no, I'm ready to meet him. Wouldn't that be nice? That was a big one, apparently. Yeah. I was so thirsty, I drank a lot of water, and that was <laughs> bad. And out of bed. I could not stop drinking water. And then instantly I was like, whoa, just kidding. <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> We finally got it out. That fully book is out, so we're three, three centimeters. At least three. Three. At least it could be more. And it could be more, but you're at least no. three. So, it could be so like, we'll give you a couple of hours we'll say or more morning. doing some pitocin, and then we'll see if you've made cervical change from it. Wow, Lydia. That's exciting. That's, That's exciting. So exciting. That's what she says. I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very exciting. Big progress. So we upped the Pitocin, I think. We got a new bag up there. And they repositioned me, and now they're doing like leg massage things too. A bunch of new stuff, basically. And it's been making me so nauseous. <laughs> yeah, every time I drink a little water, I feel like, or if they change anything, I get so sick. I was not expecting that. And then I just throw up. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been since I was like spring. I've been sick back then. Alright, so Lydia's resting right now, but it is almost six o'clock and they just checked her. She's five centimeters dilated and I think they said 70% of face. Mm -hmm. Don't know exactly what that means, but they say it's good. And they would, <laughs> we're, we're assuming and we're all we're guessing is around, it's gonna be in the wee hours of the morning. What we're, and the water is broke. The water is broke too. You know. Oh. But that that is the news. Lydia is feeling a lot better since the epidural. She's not in much pain. She still gets a little nauseous, but she's doing a lot better. She was in a lot of pain before the epidural, but now 
she's got some pretty high contractions and not filling them, so that's good. So the epidural's working good, she's feeling good, and before too long, we're gonna have a kid. Oh, gorgeous. Uh-oh, photo shoot right before delivery. It's not delivery time. Oh, Imagine it's not delivery it time? <laughs> we're There's bored. Hannah, Daniel, Josie, <laughs> and Mom. You ready? It's delivery time. Is there, oh, those photos. She's been in labor for look at 16 me. hours. <laughs> you looking good for 16 hours, babe. We got some contractions. Those are looking pretty good every minute. Good work. Maybe pray that he misses Hampton. Really so you might be get the meat right there. I'm gonna cry through summer. all of this because it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. You might be get the film on. Mm -hmm. I was guessing around 10, but I guess I'm guessing that he'll be ready to start around 10 instead of 4. It's gonna be sooner than we expected. So nice. You ready? This is so exciting. I can't believe it. Y'all, this is way sooner than we expected. So we just assume they're gonna come check at 9.30 and gonna be seven centimeters or something around that. But she is 10 centimeters dilated and we're gonna start, she's gonna start pushing soon. I'm gonna hold her hand. But it is crazy, we're about to finally get to meet Riker. The emergency room and she's like, I'll just watch you about. All right. Josie is a. I almost missed it. Josie's Literally me for 15 minutes. 15 minutes and 10 centimeters. About to push the baby out. Oh, what? I started feeling what? more and more pressure. And I was she like, threw up. Why again. is it? And then I started throwing up. And then they're like, maybe we should check. And I'm I was sorry, like, we're some sort of super. Something is going How do you go from like. Oh, I don't she know. It's because he's so low. His hand <laughs> is on his head. I'm that makes me nervous. Mind blown. We're about to have a baby so soon. You're, right? You're about to fill it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry through all of this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna have them in it unless the pushing takes hours. No, you're like gonna do great. Hours. You are not. You are going to do. It's gonna be so easy, especially with him already being low. It's baby time. It's like I saw somebody run in. Yeah. I'll leave for 15 minutes. I know, you're fast enough. Literally all day. Leave for 15 minutes to go eat. Boom. You guys stepped out. He literally knew. He said, oh, all the people are leaving. Perfect time to show up. Yeah. <laughs> His birthday is going to be on the 12th, it looks like. All right. That would be exciting. Mm -hmm. From what Blair said, it doesn't sound like you've got very far to go. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when we get a really big space in between contractions, it's building up to a really big one. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, good stuff. You better have a big one. Thankfully, I don't feel like <laughs> Otherwise, that would be scary. Yeah, big, big deep breath in, hold it, and push. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and blow it out. And relax. I think he's going to be blonde. What? what? Yeah, I think he's got some light hair. It's hard to tell while it's wet. It might be like a sandy blonde. Do you Not think bright. he's a stripe down his head? Because Trace had like I, a blonde came, that came from Oh, I can't see that much yet. Yeah. We are seeing the tip of the iceberg. It came along a couple years on the road, but I did have a, a weird stripe right yeah. down my head for a couple blonde. years for some reason. I mean, genetics, he might be blonde. Well, it'll take a couple to get the hang of it. You ready for it? Yes. You ready to meet Riker? Yes. Let me tell. See, it looks like.
perfect push. Five, perfect. Six, right there, right there, right seven, there. Eight, go, 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 go. Up there. Easy. Take a breath. One more time. As hard yep. as you can. Two, Third push is the hardest. Come on, really four, hold them there. You can five, do it. Six, See if you can go seven, to ten. A little eight, bit more. Nine, ten. Awesome work. <laughs> you ready to meet your little guy? <laughs> It's okay, strong. you'll get him. Push, make sure to push, 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 push. Strong, 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 strong. strong. Good. Oh, that's okay, you got it. Big, strong push. Push, 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 push. Good push, work, push. good work, good work. He's almost there. Almost. Uh -huh. yeah. Beautiful. Good job, Mama. Good job, Mama. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> yes. Good work. Yeah, another big trunk push. Shoulders got out, yeah. now here comes the rest. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, look down, look down. Did you have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got fishing.